everyone, Paul Vicheski, NebraskaLandlord.com. Before I get on with this video, I'd like you to do a couple of things. Right down here in, the, in your lower right-hand corner of the screen, there's a little red subscribe button. Click on that and subscribe to the channel. And number two, way up here in the right-hand corner of your screen, there's going to be a little bell. Click on that and that will notify you every time I upload a new video. So I wanted to bring you up to date of what's going on with two proposed sets of legislation. Number one is LB85 that's going through the legislature and the other one is the three proposed rental property inspection and registry ordinances that are making their way through the City Council of Omaha. LB85 has been tabled temporarily. It did make it out of committee. Uh, it is a bill that was proposed by Senator Justin Wayne, an Omaha senator. It made it out of committee onto the floor and then the, the speaker of the legislature, he pulled it temporarily at the request of Omaha uh, because Omaha is, is, they're working their own registry. So right now in the legislature, it's kind of dead temporarily. Now what's happening in Omaha is there are three proposed ordinances that are gonna be making their way, I've been told, to the city council. I will tell you that it has enough votes to pass. There is enough on the, the city council to pass it, and Mary, Mayor, Mayor Jean Stothert is going to support whatever one is finalized by the city council. In my opinion, this is a done deal. Things don't make it to the agenda unless they're going to pass, has been my experience for the most part. So uh, that's what the insiders are telling me. But there's a couple of things I really want you to know. Number one is you can't go down without a fight. Right now, all these nonprofits are out there and, and they're creating all these horror stories, these websites and these type of things to create this shock and awe. And, and we have to rebut those, okay? So a couple of things we can do. Number one, show up when it's the public hearing time and testify why you dislike the ordinance. That's the first thing. Number two is you can send your city council member a, a letter, an email, uh, voicing your opposition. I'm going to make the link down below in the remarks section. Uh, you can click on to the link and, and you just type in your address and it'll tell you who your city council person is and you're, you're be able to, you will be able to communicate. And here's what I'm asking you to do. I'm asking you to send them photos of tenant damages. So any of your rental properties, I don't care how long it's been, Collect, if you have any photos, collect them. If you have uh, itemized deduction list of damages and those amounts, send it to them and say, I understand why you're concerned about, you know, uh, everything that's going on, but here's our concern. Listen to our cause as well. They need documented evidence because right now most of them just don't believe it. When you say that they're, you know, tenants destroy properties, they don't believe it. They just don't. Trust me, I've been down this road. We want to documentize our argument. The other thing I would tell you is when you show up to the city council uh, uh, meeting at the public hearing, you have a right to have your documents put into the record. So when you get up and do your two or three minute speech to the city council, have as many documents as you can. I don't care if it's a, a box, 10 reams of papers that have photos of, of documented evidence of tenants that destroyed properties your itemized list of deductions when those tenants move out as far as the cost and how much you guys uh, uh, had to pay to get your properties back up so you can rent it to somebody else. This all matters and you have a right to put it in the record. It's about gumming it up. And so if we can get 100, 200 landlords, property managers to do this, maybe they'll start taking note. So two things, communicate with your city council person, your opposition and documentize it. And when you show up to the public hearing, same thing, bring your documents and, and uh, request that they be put into the record because legally they have to. So, uh, and if they don't, that can create a legal challenge for it. So that's just an update of what's going on. Oh, by the way, real quick, as far as dates, I looked on the February, uh, the February, what is it, 19th, uh, the February 19th agenda and it wasn't on there. I have been told by some insiders that it's gonna hit on the, third, or on the 5th of March is gonna be the first reading, the 12th of March is gonna be the public hearing, and then the 19th is when they can vote on any proposed ordinances. That is not set in stone because I have not seen the agenda, but that's what I've been told so far. If that changes, I will certainly let you know. So until next time, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Other than that, happy landlording.